Hello everyone. Welcome to Tutorials Point. Now we will be starting our learning of flowering plants. So, if we know how externally a plant look like, we must know what happens inside the plant also. So, we will be learning about anatomy of flowering plants in the upcoming videos. Let us just have a general overview about plant anatomy in this video. Now, the learning objective is to know what is plant anatomy and to know about its discoverers. Now, plant anatomy. Anatomy is a branch of science which deals with study of internal structure of living beings. Specifically, plant anatomy is the study of internal structure and functional organization of plants. The founder of plant anatomy is Marcello Malfigi, who was an Italian doctor. And the father of plant anatomy is N. Grew. N. Grew was a scientist who gave the term tissue and parenchyma inside the plants. Now, what is anatomy? We know that the ana we have discussed that anatomy is internal study, study of internal structures. We know that the plants undergo a lot of stress, right? Different types of plants are present in this living environment and each plant has its own requirement. Plants are even able to adjust in very extremes of temperature where it is impossible for living beings to adjust. But plants adjust. How do they do so? It is because of their internal organization. Now, how is an internal organization formed? All of us are aware that all the biological structures have a levels of organization. So, cell is the basic unit. We start from cell and we move towards organ system. So, the cell, they aggregate together to form tissues. The tissues, then they join together to form tissue system. The tissue system forms organ and the organ forms organ system. So, what is the basic unit? It is the cell. So, all of us know in animals, there are in animals or human beings, there are different types of cells, the muscle cells, the skeletal cells, the bone cells, the cardiac cells, the nerve cells, there are different types of their cells, they aggregate together, form tissue, form the organ and ultimately leads to the function of a particular type of organ. So similar is the case in case of plants. Plant cell is the basic unit. This basic unit, it aggregates together. The same types of cell, they aggregate together to form tissues of the plant, right? So, the internal structures also depend on adaptation. That is the stress tolerance of a plant. Different types of plants have different types of cells. So, they help them in adapting. Ultimately, cells are ones which are responsible for function. All of us know that. So, now flowering plants. What are flowering plants? The another term for flowering plants is angiosperms. So, they constitute around 80% of the total living plants. So, in all the living plants, 80% plants are angiosperms, that is the seed bearing flowering plants. Now, further, these flowering plants are also divided into category. Depending on what type of root is present, what type of stem is present, what type of leaves is present and also the basic division is on the basis of the seeds present in them. So there are two divisions, the monocots and the dicots. So the monocotyledonous plants and the dicotyledonous plants are the two categories. Both these category of plants differ in different types of external morphology like their stem is different, their root is different, their leaf is different. Also, they differ in their internal morphology. So, the different looking stem and the different looking leaves are also different in the types of cells present in them. So, all of this includes the anatomy of plants. As we can clearly see in the diagram, a simple looking plant when cut and taken a section is so complicated. There are so many types of tissues like epidermis, ground tissue, vascular tissue. And see, further, we have so many type of cells which join together to form these tissues. So, this was all about the anatomy of flowering plants, a general introduction. In next video, we will dive deeper into different types of tissues of the plants. Till then, thank you very much. Tutorialspoint.com. Simply easy learning.